Hello everyone, I'm Shani Sanbonani Dumelang Awema Sekenos. I'd like to welcome you all to Babcock Africa's very first online Health and Safety Excellence Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, we had to make major changes to how we organize the event this year. And this is due to the coronavirus pandemic. So that meant we had to find a venue that conforms to all the restriction criteria and luckily for us we found it and it's called outside outside, outside. yes it is true we were not about to let the virus or the spread of false news stop us no, nothing was going to stop us from celebrating and spreading real news about the very best of the best in health and safety at Babcock Africa. We are so pleased that we found a way to have all you wonderful people gather to recognize the outstanding work that our colleagues have achieved in the past year to make sure that we all go home safe every day. So here we are. The show is about to begin. Oh, but before we get started, please take the opportunity during the event to interact with us. You can leave us a comment, drop a picture, show us how you're celebrating with us. You can even create your own Instagram story. Just remember to tag us at Babcock Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, what better way to get us started? Please welcome Babcock Africa CEO, Mr. Roger O'Callaghan. Hi everybody, welcome to the Babcock International Group Africa Division Health and Safety Awards. This function is one of my favorite. It is one where annually we celebrate the very best in health and safety excellence and I hope you'll all enjoy it with me. Thank you H for hosting the event and for the introduction. Thanks to the communication team for putting this together. Doing this online has been created by the pandemic that we all find ourselves with, but a real positive of this is that we reach a much wider audience, and I'm glad that so many people will be able to follow. So thank you all of you who are watching it right now, and all of you who may watch it later on one of the social media platforms. At Babcock, our safety motto is, everybody goes home safe every day. To me, that means that at Babcock, nobody gets hurt. And while you're thinking about that, let me ask you this question. Who is the safest person you know? If that answer isn't you, then you need to be working on your safety. Safety is a 24-7 event. You can't switch it on when you get to work and switch it off when you leave. It has to be ongoing. You can never behave in an unsafe manner. At Babcock, we work with highly intelligent, trained, smart individuals. But for various reasons, even intelligent, smart individuals do silly things sometime. And when these silly things happen, that's what creates an accident. And an accident is the last thing we wish to achieve. What do you believe about zero injuries? Do you really believe that there is a case for a zero injury workplace? At Babcock, we work in high-risk environments. There's always a chance that somebody could be injured. So what do you believe? Do you believe it can be done? This is a safety event, so I imagine most of you are sitting there nodding your heads. But outside of this event, do you believe that we can be safe all the time? I believe that this all starts with what you believe. When you believe in something, it gets your attention, it gets your focus, it gets your commitment, and then things get done. And when things get done, you will act in a safe environment and people will see what you're doing. When people see what you're doing, it inspires them, it makes them safe. They start believing that safety is a fact, that it can be done, that zero injuries is possible and they all start acting in a safe environment, in a safe manner. That is an example that only you can do and I can do and it needs to be done 24-7. At Babcock in Africa, we've done it. We've proved that zero injury is possible. At the end of 2019, 
we reached a disabling injury incident rate of zero. This is an amazing achievement, the first time we've ever achieved it in over 90 years of working in South Africa. Since then we've worked over 9 million hours and 19 months without a lost time incident. This is something that I'm really proud of and you should be too. So sit back and relax as we enjoy the ceremony and celebrate with our winners of the Excellence Awards. Today I've got a real surprise for all of us. In all the years of having these Safety Excellence Awards in South Africa, I think there's only been one when we've been able to have a main board member attend. The reason for that is this is a bad time of the year. It's right in the middle of when Babcock International Group has its annual general meeting and we're never able to get a main board director during this time. But this year, because of COVID and because we have this opportunity of doing it online, I'm really pleased to announce that Archie Bethel, the Babcock International Group CEO, will be joining us today. Thanks Archie for your time and effort and for leading by example. Good morning everyone and welcome to the Health and Safety Excellence Awards Africa. I'm delighted to be here with you virtually. Your health and safety record has been amongst the best in the Babcock Group in recent years. It really has been impressive, so I know how committed you are and how well you understand the importance of taking care of each other. Health and safety is without question our number one priority, and we all work hard to make sure that each and every one of us can get home safe every day. This is particularly important in the strange times that we are living in, in a world with COVID-19, which isn't something any of us would have anticipated this time last year. I know that most of you have been working throughout the crisis on sites and in the office, and I want to thank you for all your hard work, which has really made a difference to the customers and communities we serve. And I know it's not always been easy, particularly when many of us are worried about our family and friends. As the lockdown starts to ease, it's really important that we don't become complacent and that we keep a commitment to keeping ourselves and our colleagues safe. It's important that we keep using PPE and social distancing properly. South Africa has a long tradition of coming together as a nation in hard times. You have a history of pulling together and helping each other, and we need to keep doing just that so that everyone can come home safe every day. We know that focusing on safety is essential to having a high performing, open and effective culture, one where our people can be heard, invested in and trusted. That focus is even more important at the moment. We will get through this together. I hope you enjoy the awards. South Africa has done well in previous years. Last year I was impressed by your entries, particularly the Crane Safety System, which won the Best Programme International Award, and the great work you did around stoppages at Lithabo Power Station. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the nominees have achieved this year. Congratulations to all of you, and remember to stay safe. Thank you, gentlemen. Now back to the main event. I hope you got your popcorn and coffee ready. Get comfortable as we invite our judging panel to introduce you to the 2020 finalists. Hi, my name is Deva Govinda. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Babcock Indutuka Engineering and I'm speaking to you from our offices in Osborne Lane. The finalists in this category are individuals who have demonstrated a clear commitment to improving safety or by their actions have prevented a significant safety or environmental incident. Congratulations to the well-deserved finalists of 2020 in the category Individual Achievement.
with a team of two or a team of hundreds, the finalists in this category have demonstrated how working together as part of a team has made a real difference to safety. I am pleased to offer my sincere congratulations and best wishes to the 2020 finalists of this highly contested category, Team Achievement. In this category, we celebrate those individuals who are just starting out in our business. They have been with us for two years or less and are already demonstrating a clear commitment to going over and above in the efforts to improve safety. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to the 2020 finalists in the category New Employee. I am Chris Cornelison, the Group Risk Manager Africa. The finalists in this category embody what it is that makes us a partner that can be trusted to deliver. These are individuals or teams who can clearly demonstrate a significant improvement in the safety through positive engagement with their customers, resulting in the improved safety of assets, people or operations. It is my honour to announce the 2020 finalists in the category Customer Engagement. The finalists selected in this category have designed and or implemented safety programs that have clearly demonstrated a tangible commitment to improving safety and influencing change. I am pleased to offer my sincere congratulations and best wishes to the 2020 finalists in the category Best Safety Program. Good day, my name is Sylvia Bupape, Chief Information Officer, Africa. I have the honor of introducing the finalists who have demonstrated by innovation, improved management, or new processes, a measurable reduction of our impact on the environment. It is my great pleasure to offer my congratulations to the 2020 finalists in the category Environmental. The finalists in this category have shown a tangible commitment to improving the health and well-being of Babcock and its employees. It is my great pleasure to offer my congratulations to the 2020 finalists in the category Health and Well-being Program. Hi, I'm Neil Penson, Group Company Secretary. I'm speaking to you today from Babcock's head office in Bedford View. The finalists in this category are specialists in their field. They have delivered significant improvements to safety performance by proactively leading safety excellence in their work environment. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the 2020 finalists in this category of Outstanding Safety Leadership. The 
Finalists in this category are individuals and teams who have clearly demonstrated a significant improvement in the safety of a Babcock customer's product through innovative quality management and related best practice. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the 2020 finalists in the category of product safety. and I'm the Group Financial Controller for Babcock Africa. I am here at our Riley Road offices in Bedford View. The finalists in the following category have established significant improvements in safety through positive engagement with their peers, groups, teams, sites, and business units. It is my great pleasure to announce the 2020 finalists in the category Workforce Employee Engagement. Finalists in this category have made a noticeable commitment to improving the health, safety, and environmental controls of contractors working in Babcock controlled work areas. It is my great pleasure to announce the 2020 finalists in the category Control and Engagement of Contractors. There you have it. Now that we know who our finalists are, let's take a quick commercial break. Stretch your legs, refill your popcorn. I'm getting another cup of coffee. So we'll be back in a more. Welcome back. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the announcement of the winners in all categories, brought to you by the 2019 winners. Hi, I'm Jomela Ngoveni from Tutuko Engineering at Henry Site. I was the winner of the 2019 Individual Achievement Award. I'm very excited to announce that the winner of the Individual Achievement Award 2020 is... Hi. I am Romeo Aris. I am representing Bartlett Equipment Warehouse. We were a proud team winners in 2019. I am pleased to announce that the 2020 team achievement winner is Hello, I'm Chris Howe from Equipment. Saint and Planta and I were the proud winners of the Customer Engagement Award in 2019 with the Remote Control Wheel Loader project. 
I'm extremely proud to announce that the winner of the Customer Engagement Award in 2020 is Hi, I'm Chris Atoy from Plant Services. The Babcock Crane Safety System was awarded the best safety program in 2019 for Africa and the international group. I am proud to announce the winner of the 2020 Best Safety Program Award. And the winner is... Sani Bolani, Ika Malami, Muchiro Mwagange. Nsebenzela into Tugo Engineering. Esaitini, Lasi Hindrin. Ingomunye waba pumelele, watola umkomelo. Kwezi mpilo noguz pata, enyagini ka 2019. Kuyang togozi sagakulu, ugmemezela. O pumelele, watola umkomelo. Kulonyaga ka 2020. I Kamalake U Good day. My name is Manuel Agostino. I'm the National Technical Services Manager for Equipment. My colleague Fanny Kraft and I were the proud recipients of the 2019 Collision Avoidance System Award. I'm proud to announce that the winner of the 2020 Product Safety Award is Good day. I'm Mosco Shabango from Tutugo Engineering, based at Hendrina Power Station. I was a proud winner for 2019 Outstanding Safety Leadership Award. It's a great pleasure for me to announce our 2020 Outstanding Safety Leadership Award. And the honor goes to Dumelang, my name is Mpomatani from Tutuka Engineering. My team was awarded Workforce Employee Engagement Trophy in 2019. We were also crowned the winners in this category at the International Group Awards held in the UK. On behalf of my team, it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of 2020. Workforce Employee Engagement Award goes to Hi, my name is Tawa Makwela from Tutuga Engineering in Hendrena Power Station. I was the proud recipient of this award in 2019. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of this Control and Engagement of Contractors Award for 2020. The winner is...
Hi, I'm Brian Mitchell from Intertica Engineering, based at the fabrication site. Our water saving initiative won the Environmental Award in 2019. On behalf of the team that was involved in that initiative, I have great pleasure in announcing the Environmental Award 2020 goes to Goeiedag, ek is Devon Testreise van Equipment Bartlett. Ek was trots om herken te word as die 2019 winner van die New Employee Toekening. Dit is vir my een groot eer om die New Employee Toekening van 2020 aan te kondig. En die winner is... Congratulations to all the winners. There's one more award that we have to give today, and that is the CEO's Award. I really enjoy doing the CEO's Award, and many people ask me what are the criteria to win. Mostly they're saying that because they'd like to win it, but really it's my chance to be selfish. I really don't know what the criteria are. I just read through all the awards, look at what they do, and something just stands out every year that makes me choose it as a CEO's award. This year I think that we've done a great job in every category, but there's one that really stands out for me. And as background to some of this, I'd like to read some comments from other people. It has changed the way I approach communication with various stakeholders. It has improved my confidence level and the way I engage. It has helped me to appreciate health and safety at a personal level and made me realize that safety is a way of life. Many new employees are recruited and with the training I'm receiving, I can confidently guide them to safe behavior. It has broadened my scope and understanding of health and safety and changed the way that I think about safety in many different ways. It has made me aware of what I need to change in my attitude and behavior to become a better safety leader, father and person. I think these are great accolades and I think it's a wonderful achievement. So today, my award goes to Marguerite Teron and Nathaniel Nguenya for their work on the program Yenza Ukufaneli. And that really means doing it right. Well done guys, I'm really proud of you. Congratulations to all our winners. It's been absolutely brilliant sharing the accolades for our safety champions with all of you but it's a wrap folks thank you for watching with us remember to call your team members and congratulate them on their win and winners please send us a picture and show us how you celebrate it or load on instagram remember to tag us at babcock awards goodbye stay safe stay healthy and remember, home safe every day.
Again. I am pleased to announce the 2020 finalists in the category employee. What's it? <laughs> Hello, I'm Chris Howe, Saints and Plant Hire uh, from Equipment. The finalists in the following category. <coughs> Sorry, I had a frog. <laughs> Good day. My name is Sylvia Bupape, Chief Information Officer, Africa. It is the. <laughs> I have the honor of introducing the finalists who have demonstrated by innovation, improved management, or new processes, a measurable reduction. Get comfortable as we invite our judging panel to introduce you to our 2020 finalists. Oh, I even get the throwing room. Mm -hmm. But it's a wrap, folks. 